Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret... Oh, you've got to be f***ing kidding me, you piece of sh So here we are, back again with Halo. The Master Chief Collection is out on Xbox One, and it is a collection of every game you've played before, but minus Halo Reach and ODST. As it boots up, you get a nice menu system that contains literally everything for the whole franchise at the touch of a button. It's laid out very well, and it's easy to find everything. Maybe Microsoft should ask 343 Industries to help them with the dashboard. <clears throat> as all the others are the same, we're going to focus on how Halo 2 plays, as this is the one that's had the biggest upgrade. From the first cinematic, it's obvious that it's been souped up to the max. The cutscenes have all been beautifully rendered, however, on their first playthrough there was no sound in these. Quite disappointing and an instant markdown. Yes, it doesn't work out of the box, but Cortana still looks sexy as ever and gets your geek juices flowing. The gameplay is the same as it ever was, except it runs at a lovely 60 frames per second and, uh, oh, the textures look great. And did we mention Cortana? <laughs> Dribble. Really, this is a no-brainer. If you've loved the Halo series, then you have no reason not to buy this. And really, the only gamers to buy this would be people that have played all of them and own all of them. Or gamers who have missed out on the earlier releases of the games. And if you've never played a Halo game before, then, well, how comfy was that rock you've been under all this time? Mmm, rocky. The dual wielding is here and the dodgy in-game dialogue along with possibly the most irritating aliens ever devised. Yes, Grunts, I'm talking about you. Anyone else think comedic aliens are an odd choice for a serious sci-fi shooter? Meh, just me then. Along with all the other graphical tweaks, the lighting really does stand out the most. When you fire off the plasma rifle and each round illuminates the corridor, it does look super cool. Plus the outdoor vistas really pop, the global illumination looking top notch and really adds a breath of fresh air to Halo 2. Really, the only downside to the Halo collection is of course Reach and ODST are missing, and the absolute abysmal downloading times which we can only imagine added to our audio problems with the game. The multiplayer is all there too with every single map you've ever played on, the forge is there with its multitude of options for you level builders, and you can even make a playlist of your favourite missions from each of the four games and play them seamlessly back to back. But again we've been thrown a game that is just not finished. Issues with the audio can be resolved by bumping your Xbox's audio output down to stereo instead of 7.1 or 5.1, but the matchmaking issues, freezes and crashes, plus the long loading times on certain multiplayer maps, really brings the quality down from what is supposed to be a polished experience of the franchise. Yes, the truth hurts, but playing the originals as they were is still better on the original console. As well, they work. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Can we not get through one review without this thing crashing? It's only a small review. I don't ask for much. Ugh. I'm sure 343 Industries will keep releasing more and more patches to clog up your already dwindling hard drive space, and once this game is finally fixed and working as it should, it will be awesome. But as it stands, it's an unpolished disappointment. Based on this initial release, Halo Master Chief Collection receives an 8. But once it's fixed and working properly, this will be a smashing 10. But if you can stomach the occasional glitch crash wallop what a bummer of a game freeze, then go buy it now. But the Gasm team recommends waiting for it to be fixed to get the most out of the Halo franchise as it was intended to be played. Oorah! Was Halo 2 and uh, the gaming industry's been a bit of a fucking joke recently, hasn't it? Yep, definitely. Ah, uh, I mean, like, what with obviously we've got Halo that's uh, kind of not ready, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, okay, that's not out here yet, but um, it's got a lot of bad press in America. Yeah, we're hearing so. a lot about all your problems over there. Our hearts go out to all you uh, US gamers. Hopefully, we'll get a day one UK patch, so thanks for that. Woohoo! Beta testing! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and, and now Alien Isolation. Mm -hmm. That patch they released the other day. If you've got it on PS4 and you haven't downloaded the patch yet, don't download the patch! <laughs> it literally breaks the game completely. Yeah, completely corrupts your save file. Uh, some of the chapters don't work. <sighs> ah, messy. This, this has got to stop, hasn't it? I mean, like, 
as gamers, we're all gamers here, right? You know, we love playing games, but it seems to me that the industry is taking the piss, and all I can think about is it's just these shareholders saying, we want our fucking money, mm -hmm. like, so they're pushing out all this crap. Yeah. So the only problem is, it's the developers that get the bad name, and they get the, you know... Yeah, and they get all the torrent of yeah. crap on the uh -huh. forums going, why isn't your game working? Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. But really, it's the publishers, they're just pushing these games out, they yeah. want the money fast and it's forcing developers to release an unfinished game. Exactly, and no development team sets out to ever make a bad and un unpolished game. No. But they, uh, they must be under so much pressure, because if I was a, if I was a game developer, I wouldn't, I mean, I, you know, I like to perfect things anyway, I wouldn't yeah. let anything like that go out to a mass market, you know, without it being finished. I mean, I, they must be thinking the same, so it must be the uh, the publishers just yeah. going, where's our game? Where's our money? But it Where's definitely makes more sense. I'd rather have a be that uh, a game delayed yeah. by a couple of weeks than have an unfinished game. But then we come to something else, then, don't we, Jason? Uh, would that be the crew? It does mean the crew. <laughs> now, if you if you've played the beta, which a uh, few few of us were fortunate to get beta keys and, and all that kind of stuff, so we got the beta, stuck it on. Oh my goodness gracious me! It sums it's it up pretty much. The biggest <laughs> pile of cack I've ever had the misfortune to play. It's it's just boring. Mm -hmm. So boring. And they thought, oh, we'd better delay this. At what state was it in before they said we'd better delay this? Yeah, considering it was supposed to have been out like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. And recently, obviously, all the problems with Drive Club. I mean, that game's just like sunk. I mean, I believe they fixed the multiplayer issues now, but like... Too late. Way, yeah, too, way too little, late. too late. The gaming yeah. community does not give a shit about Drive Club anymore. No. Um, but yeah, incidentally, back on the crew, I wouldn't touch that thing with a barge pole this side of Christmas. Or the other side of Christmas, to be uh, honest. No, because it's even even if they fixed what's wrong with it, it's still shit. <laughs> it's empty, it's dull. It, they, um, they're selling up the premise you can drive from one side of the coast to the other. We did about. Uh, we timed this actually. Like Jason had to go to a mission objective, which was twenty kilometres away. So I got my stopwatch out. I was like, "Go on then, Jay. Off you go." Took him eight minutes to drive through the most boring city ever created mm -hmm. to get to this objective. And when you got there, what was the mission like? Um, I uh, said point to point race. There's no, it was no, it was the, it was the chase kind of guy ram some ram some road, road, yeah. which you did. Just. Just. <laughs> so, the, uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this up now. We've had a bit of a rant. <laughs> put, the, put the world to rights, and uh, hopefully, uh, they might start sorting their shit out because, like, as a gamer, I'm just. Well, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, it's all in the press now. You know, everyone's being laughed at, so maybe they might book their ideas up. I mean, a few of the, mm -hmm. the developers, like Three Four Industries and um, Creative from um, Alien Isolation, they've unreservedly apologised and they're doing all they can, Yeah, so, yeah. Which, is, so which is good. Hopefully then uh, we'll get this all sorted out, but that's our time, yeah. so uh, I've been Bren, I've been Jay, and we've been GameGasm! Game